Express. Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is the Gemini PDA, which is a tiny device that almost looks like it's about the size of a smartphone. It's a little bit big for a smartphone, but when you open it up, which I will use an extra set of hands here for, um, it, it looks like a full-fledged uh, laptop computer. It's just a little bit on the tiny side. Now, this version that we're looking at here runs Android, but there's also a version that runs full-fledged Linux, um, and actually it's the same device. You can dual boot between Android and Linux. Uh, this is an older prototype that has a kind of stiff key. Keyboard. I tested out this keyboard, it types much better, so any typing that you're going to see is going to be on this one. If the keyboard looks Fantastic. at all familiar, it's because you've been following mobile computers for a very long time. It's based on the Cyan uh, 5 series and Cyan Revo series of designs, and so you see it actually has the same hinge as those devices, which is that when it opens up, it sort of tilts back a little bit, and then it gives you what looks like a sort of classic keyboard design with uh, indented keys. It's a little bit small for touch typing with all 10 fingers, but if you use maybe six fingers, four fingers, uh, you know, a couple more, or if you have really tiny fingers, maybe. Um, again, on this early prototype, uh, it's a little bit difficult to navigate, but on a newer model, it, uh, it actually does work pretty well. Uh, so I'll just go ahead and show you that I can type. By pressing the button there, when it rings, or you can open it. Um, and, um, and search and do other things like that. Uh, again, it runs both operating systems, scrolling. Windows and Linux. Uh, this one does seem to be connected to the internet, so I'll do a little vanity search there for you and bring up uh, our website. And then if you, uh, if you want mobile applications, you get the ability to do that, uh, but you also get the ability to run a full-fledged desktop operating system here. So what we're looking at is Debian Linux running on this model, which is not really optimized for a touchscreen display, but the team is working on other operating systems and other uh, Linux-based software, such as Plasma Mobile, that will be a little bit more optimized for touch input. But you could pair it with... Um, a mouse. Uh, you can use other sorts of peripherals. They've got accessories including this hub that uh, connects to the USB Type-C port if you want extra USB full-size ports, an Ethernet jack, or you can get an HDMI adapter. So it's a full-fledged computer that runs Android and um, Linux-based software. Uh, it does not have an Intel or an AMD processor. It has a MediaTek Helio X27 DecaCore processor. It's a 10-core processor, which combines uh, ARM Cortex-A72 and A53 cores um, and uh, supports Android pretty easily out of the box, but also runs most Linux operating uh, software that's optimized to run on ARM-based processors. It has a 6-inch display, 2160 by 1080p, um, 802.11ac Wi-Fi, uh, 4 gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of storage, and a micro SD card slot. You can see we've got a little USB Type-C port and a headset jack on the side here, and on the other side, another USB Type-C port and a uh, power button. Uh, depending on how you hold the power button when you turn on the device, it'll choose between which operating system it's going to uh, boot. Uh, in, this, uh, in this software, we've got the ability to run uh, LibreOffice, you can run a, a terminal, you can run pretty much anything that you want on it. Um, and overall, the layout of the keyboard, I think, is really sort of what makes it special. It, uh, it was available as, uh, for $3.99 and up during a crowdfunding campaign, and it's going to be, start shipping uh, soon, uh, this month, actually, in January of uh, 2018, to backers of that crowdfunding campaign who uh, pledged $3.99 or more. It's going to be available at retail for $4.99 after that, and that's for the Wi-Fi version. There's also going to be a, three, uh, a cellular capable version that goes for $4.99 and up. If you, uh, if you place an order relatively soon, you can still get it at the $3.99 price, but after that, the price is going to go up. Uh, overall, it's really small, it's really light, and it's pretty much the closest thing you're going to find to a modern-day version of the Scion, um, capable of running sort of full-fledged desktop software. Now, again, I will point out that this desktop software is not really optimized for touchscreen input on the version that we're using here. But in the future, you might be able to, um, to uh, get out-of-the-box software that is a little bit more desktop friendly. Um, and or you might be able to, uh, let me see if I can dim the screen a little bit here. Uh, that's not working. Uh, you might be able to uh, install or tweak your own software. Uh, there's uh, keyboard shortcuts here. You get haptic feedback, actually, when you're adjusting the volume and you can adjust the uh, screen brightness as well. And again, I think uh, really sort of one of the niftiest features here is that uh, the keyboard, which is closer to a real keyboard than you're gonna find on most seven inch devices here. Uh, it does only open up to a single angle, so if you were looking for something a little bit wider angle than that, it might be a problem. But it does seem like the sort of thing where 
after using it for enough time, you might be able to get used to touch typing on it. So it's one of the more interesting devices here. It's sort of a throwback in terms of design style, but it's using modern hardware to offer something that you don't see a lot of these days. Uh, so it's not the first time I've seen sort of a little tiny five or six inch uh, uh, clamshell style device at the Consumer Electronics Show, but it's the most polished product of its type that I've seen in a while, and it's uh, just about ready to ship. So this is the Gemini PDA, which is uh, at CES 2018 and shipping, hopefully starting in January. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing.